This morning before we head off the free wall, we are going to work off some of that eggplant parmesan that we enjoyed last night with a little apple fitness workout. And it's great because we're gonna do a hit workout and we like to do that when we're on land. And we have land right next to us. How great. That was a great workout, but it is time to get going. My hair is probably a disaster. Don't even need to look in the mirror for that one, but it's time to get going. We gotta continue west. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Oh, you wanna go for a cruise? Oh boy. When people ask if Ollie likes the boat, just take a day like today. She has all the land she wants, plenty of sniffs, and she wants to go for a cruise. lock of the day and it is lock 12. In this lock they have the poles that you can tie your midship around so we're gonna try that. That was like how we did for the first lock, the Troy Federal lock. And it seems like it'll be easier um, the other ones are not hard either, but just between middle and easy. Oh, look at this wall. It is pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? It's like super slimy. Yeah, it's so <laughs> slimy. Look, watch. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that really worked out. Um, I'm really impressed with how the line just kept sliding up the pole. And so all you do is you loop it around the pole and then you S it around your cleat. You don't tie it off um, because if it gets caught, caught up, you need to be able to loosen it so it doesn't get caught. But it didn't even get caught once or even act like it was going to get caught. So that's great. Much better than the slimy lines, I think. But there's been a ton of debris. You saw the debris earlier coming into the lock. Put it in here. Like this whole lock, there's a bunch of wood and trees and stuff like that in the water, so you gotta keep an, keep an eye out, make sure that you're not like running into it. Um, they're not moving, they're just kind of floating around.
We are coming up on lock 13 and now we have company. There's a very nice boat from Palm Beach, Florida, directly forward of us and then there's a trawler behind us. Both of them caught up to us um, over the course of the last 20 miles. We've been, maybe not 20, like 15 miles. We've been cruising for a couple hours and it's been beautiful today. Like we were just talking like, is this what people are saying is the beauty of the Erie? Like this with the Western Erie is the part that we're not doing. These mountains and very, I don't know, it's just really pretty. This section really is gorgeous. There's, so we're surrounded by mountains. It is lush and green, and there's not as much development. Slower than slow. Well, they have the center poles in this lock as well, but we were going for it and then the lock tender asked us to go a little bit further forward because there's one more boat coming in, so he's holding a lock for them, um, which no problem for us, it's all the same. And uh, so we had to pull forward a little bit, stay on our toes, but luckily we've done both so far, so grabbing the lines and just tying them off works all right. like that, it's time to go. Lock 13 was a success. In the white you walk, in the black I leave. Darling, I will do my best to knit it straight. In the white you shine. We are at our third lock for the day, which is lock E14. And the three boats that were in the previous lock, they all go faster than us. Like, no shock there, right? The really nice boat uh, was going, could have been 15, 20 knots. And then the slower boat, the bigger boat, was going like nine knots. And uh, so they all passed us. And we had like, I don't know, maybe 10 miles to go to this lock. So a good distance. Uh, but the lock master held the lock for the fast, he held two boats in there and he was holding it for us too. But we, I mean, we're so much slower than the other boats. We're cruising at about six and a half right now. So we told the other boat like, oh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, well, we're not gonna rush to make the lock. But you know, if it's there when we're there, like, yeah, sure we'll get it. So we're waiting at this lock a little extra, a little while, because the lock master closed it up and sent them on their way. And then they were just chatting that the locks are holding up the fast boat for the slow boat, so they should just travel at the slow boat speed together, uh, which is probably a good strategy. So if you have a very fast boat and you're trying to get through the Erie, just know you might not be able to get through it as fast as your boat can do it because the lock masters might hold you up. 
you know, five, ten minutes at each lot. Go forward. We're on. So we have a little while that we're waiting for the next boat to come to join us in this lock. So I get the joy of sitting here and making sure like the boat kind of pushed off the wall a little bit also stays on the wall a bit and Elliot is working he's inside in the next lock if you leave the next lock as soon as you leave the lock on the upper wall I don't know who's there. Is anybody there but there's a nice place there with electricity and everything oh, nice. okay. don't cost anything Okay, what was your number on your boat? Um, we need to do 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 like music over. Well, it looks like even though we waited at lock 14 for like 30 minutes for a boat to come through, lock 15 did not wait for us. And uh, it was really just right after 14. So the small boat that we waited for has gotten through the lock. So now we're waiting for them to let a boat down the lock and then get the lock ready for us to go through. So, and it's 4.20, the lock slows at five. So I hope they let us in. It would be nice, but you know, it is what it is. Well, still no contact on the radio. I guess the lockmasters don't really respond that often, but uh, it looks like the water is coming through the gates, which is a good thing, which means hopefully they'll turn the light green and we can go through. Purely because the locks are closed. <laughs> so even if we wanted to do another lock, we cannot do one. And so now we gotta find a place to sleep. And I think there's either a lock wall at the next lock that we can stay at, or there's a free dock somewhere, but we gotta figure that out. And it kind of looks like the rain's coming too, which it wasn't forecasted for rain. Well, the rain 
peak to head out. So we are going to be crewing inside for the rest of the day. We don't have that much longer, maybe a half an hour of our cruise. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty tired. Waiting at the last two logs kind of took a lot of energy out of me. Kind of sapped it. Um, we had good momentum and then because we had to wait so long, we're not going to make the last lock we wanted to make today. So it's all good, no problems, but it's definitely sapping my energy. And um, looking for some dinner. So hungry, working out today. It's always tough because like we want to work out, I want to work out, and it makes me feel good, and obviously if you stay healthy, it kicks your metabolism off. Here is St. Johnsonsville, and you know Jennifer, aka Joe, aka Jennifer Johnson. It's kind of her spot, although I don't think we're going to be stopping here. We already had an Elliot's cut on the loop. Little did we know we'd be going to St. Johnsonville on the loop. Bing. I don't know what that so, is. So, or no, it's gotta be like a hill. Wow. The loop has all of these unexpected things. <laughs> <laughs> they do have a marina here that's a buck a foot, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, but we don't need a marina right now. We could use laundry though. We could use laundry. I don't know if they have laundry actually. It said they have laundry. It did say they have laundry? It did. Well, the last lock was our first lock that we stayed at overnight. This lock is going to be the first lock that we stay at overnight on the bottom. And so a lot of the free walls on Navionics at least say it's only on the more upper level. Um, there's really not a lot of specifics there. And the last two locks that we were waiting at, we tied off or we were at least really close to that wall. So I think that that would be okay, is to tie up in the lower end. And the thing is, lock masters are done for the day. I don't think anybody's going to say anything to us, but we'll see. We're going to come up to it, and our backup plan is to go back to Johnsonville and go to the marina, which is not a bad backup plan. But I hope this works out, because it's really it's calm and secluded over here. It's gorgeous. We are taking the fastest line from A to B for dinner tonight. Jen is whipping up a side salad, chopping up some lettuce, some red onion, and some red tomatoes. tomatoes. And we threw in a frozen pizza, and we have these like little veggie pepperonis that we got from some store way back. So do that on, and we're gonna put on some YouTube because we feel tired and very hungry, as I was saying earlier. But we tried docking without I tried to dock without using the bow thruster and it worked. It just took like 10 times longer. But I need more practice doing that. It has been another really fun day here on the Erie Canal. And tomorrow, shocker, they're continuing westbound. And we're at the lock, so 
we want to be kind of one of the first few boats through the lock because that way we won't be like passed all day and kind of get waked into the wall. And tomorrow we might be going through the biggest lake that we have to pass through before we get to the Great Lakes. So we need to check the weather to make sure it works well with Lake Oneida. So make sure you guys are subscribed to see the next journey. And we'll see you guys in the next one. So we had the previous lock, they go faster than pivot. You know, oh, crazy here. Yeah, crazy here. Why are you sitting on there? You're supposed to pee on there. Gross. Don't move. Go get it.